Hello everyone, I am the Crusher Hero and welcome back to another video. Today I am playing the Quest of the Elders for the second time. Hopefully I managed to finish the game in today's video. Also, the developer reached out to me and as you see on screen, I messed up. Yep, I really did. Apparently if I had hit how to play, it would have taught me the fact that you can use crystals for checkpoints and healing. Both things that I desperately needed when I played it the last time because I played for hours and I just kept dying and coming back and it was still fun but it would have made it so much easier so thank you so much for clicking on my video and feel free to leave a like and subscribe down below for more content like this and let's get this game done I got him oh my goodness finally all right one heart hopefully I can get like a fairy or something to heal me Oh no, there's no healing. Oh no, this is like a real dungeon crawler here. There's no healing. Oh gosh. Collect all the pieces of the map to the scrolls. Okay, so we gotta find a map to go get these scrolls. Oh no. Can I like still hit him because he has these spears? I don't know. I'm gonna try to avoid tangling with them as long as possible until I get some extra hearts. What is this thing? Oh, ah, jeez. Okay, I was not expecting that. Um, all right, I'm coming for you. Nope, I am not coming for you apparently. Nope, jump, jump. No, no. Oh my goodness. So one thing I was really happy about is they didn't force me to fight the spider boss again. So I went a different direction this time. Oh, okay. I gotta be careful because it's when it explodes that it actually counts. All right, no cheats through the floor apparently. I was gonna try it. Oh, what? Last time it didn't explode when it went through me. Okay, uh, this isn't a good position to be in. Come on, die. Okay, I'm just gonna jump. Wait, that doesn't work. What? No! Okay, he's dead. How do I make this jump? I guess I gotta go the other way. So I'm coming through this pathway and back to that menace over here. That one that utterly destroyed me last time. So, can I just not kill him? I don't want to tangle with him because I see the spear sticking out and I'm afraid that my sword isn't going to hit him properly. Come on, hit this guy, die, die, die. There we go. So I'm gonna jump over here. Nope, not gonna jump through there. Gonna jump over here maybe? Yes, there we go. All right, come on. Nope, I hit my head and fell down. No, oh no. Okay, I can still get this heart container. Here we go. I'm not even sure if they're called heart containers. But that's what I know from Zelda, so I'm gonna just assume they're heart containers. Oh, jeez. Alright, come on. This is serious. This reminds me of one of the bosses in Hollow Knight. Uh, not bosses, but- No, I went through- I always do that on side-scrollers accidentally. I go through, and then the creature gets more health. Nope. But one of the things in Hollow Knight in the royal area, I can't remember what it's called because it's been like a year since I played Hollow Knight. But in the area where the royals used to live before the plague, there's one of those bosses, not bosses, but it's like a really, really strong enemy. Oh, here's a scroll piece. And they attack you if you get in their vicinity with a large spear, I think. I think it was a spear. So that that's a pretty cool idea. Here we go. No! Oh my goodness, I was scared I was going to land on his beam. Come on, come on. There we go. I don't want to tangle with anything that I don't have to. I'm still not sure what the purple crystals are because I didn't do the how to play, which I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't notice it as I was pressing new game. Otherwise, I would have gone back and did it 
but I had already pressed new game the moment I realized it. Alright, guess I'm going for the heart container. Here we go. Gotta get all those hearts. No! No, I died! I lost two lives to a guy with a spear. Those guys are really hard. And I haven't take- No! Oh my goodness, why? Why did that have to be on camera? Anyhow, but I wanted to mention that they only had two weeks to make this game for a different game jam. Not one that I was judging, but a different one. And they did really well for two weeks. This is really well made. And they asked if I want to see a second one, and I definitely think so. I think first, work a little bit more on the attack patterns of enemies. Maybe make the spear guys a little bit faster, even though they've done so many hearts of damage to me. I think making them a little faster will improve their difficulty. Oh, I gotta deal with this guy. Oh, this is a boss version. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's put that chat aside for a moment. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh! Oh! Jeez, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. No! No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. What is this? Okay. This is a well-made boss battle, too, though. I like that. Oh, no. I'm dying, though. That's never a good thing. Like, anyone who's done a boss battle should know you're not supposed to die. But I died. So let me quickly finish what I was saying. The developer should totally focus a little bit more on attack pattern and then after they get that secure in this game because honestly though they don't have too much work left to do because it's very well made but after they finish that then they can just apply the things they learned from this game to a second game it's going to be even better and I'm really excited to see that because I think this is a great starting point it's really fun as you can tell by the fact that I haven't rage quit, even though I keep coming back from the beginning every time I die, I know. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that the developer increased the difficulty just for me. So, thanks, I guess? <laughs> I mean, totally thank you for it. But thank you for making me die a lot. That's what it truly means to make one of these games. <laughs> I like how bright this guy's eye is too, how wide it is. He's just like, why am I doing this? Why am I stuck in this endless loop of death, getting destroyed by everything? It's hard because this guy walks forward, and so I have to walk forward so I can hit him right after he does his spear thing. But if he's walking forward, it makes it way harder. Jeez. Way harder than the other guys. Alright, come on. Oh! I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay, so I just finished this boss here, and I didn't have time to capture it, but he ended up having a second phase where he got super fast, and that's why I lost all these hearts. I was actually doing really well, and then he started screaming and just went insane on me, which is cool, of course, in every boss. But he just went insane and carved out all my lives. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta find two more of these pieces. Where are they gonna be? Not where that guy is, hopefully. Okay. Oh, there's a piece right there. So I just need to... Wait, can I break this? No, I guess a boulder or something has to fall. Alright, come on. I know you want it. You get baited so easily. Like, what kind of soldier are you that gets baited this easily? Now, I kind of need you to go or else I'm going to die. Hey, move. Move from there. Uh-oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yes. I was a little bit scared when he didn't want to move. I thought I was going to lose these two lives and have to restart. Can I get through here yet? I guess not. Okay, so just one more piece of the scroll. No, piece of the map to the scroll. All right, so I think this is an unexplored area that I stumbled across here. Oh no, he's gonna be up there, isn't he? Okay. Ah, oh, no. Here, walk away more. 
There you go. Ah, uh, no. Stop getting next to the edge. Alright? And I don't know what the developer's plans are, but I really think this would work well on a mobile... Like, on a mobile device. I think this game would be perfect for it. I think it would do really well as a mobile game because it has that kind of simplicity that you usually find. But it's also much better than most mobile games because most mobile games, if we're being honest, don't have too much depth to them. But I like that this one does, so I think this would do really well on the App Store if they can get it there. So what do I do with this map? I don't know. Oh, find a way out. So is that where I just came from? That place where I was trying to hit it with the sword? Well, I guess we'll have to see. If the developers are watching, I found a glitch here that I can't really recreate. But I was just walking, and for some reason this ledge I got caught on and I had to jump to get off of it. So I can't recreate it, so I don't know how helpful that is for you. But off camera, it did happen and I got stuck on the ledge. Just so you know might be something with hit boxes or something not sure that i ever like i don't really understand too much of it but i know that you do have hit boxes nope that's the wrong way isn't it great now i gotta find this place come on interesting story but i logged out of the game and i came back on another day which is today and it says congratulations i have completed the quest of the elders on returning to the village I was given a hero's welcome. The elders decided that as I had proved myself on this quest, I would be among the party of adventurers sent out to reclaim the scrolls. Well done. Uh, thank you for playing the quest of the elders. This game was made in one month. If you got this far into the game, why not just go a little bit further or leave a review on itch.io? I will definitely see. This is only the beginning. The adventurer still needs to reclaim the scrolls and learn to use their powers himself for good of humankind. Learn to fly like the wind, attack with fire, and melt and mold the earth. I don't know what happened there. Coming? Not soon! Woohoo! So, like, can I... Uh, it, it's stuck in a loop. So what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna hit new game and I'm gonna see if I can get back to where I was. Because I never got to find how to leave the cave. So I'm going to quickly see that. So I could be wrong about this, but after speed running the game, it appeared that the only thing you guys missed was seeing me find the exit because I went back and read the storyline and I completed all those aspects. And I'm really sorry if I did miss anything. Thank you so much to the developer for allowing me to play this game. And thank you to all of you guys who are watching and enjoying this video. Now, if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe down below for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. I've also started streaming on Twitch, and if you want to join, it's twitch.tv slash the underscore crusher hero. And I might see you there. We can have some fun together. Thank you for watching, and goodbye!